Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to all. Let's continue our surveillance of Cassandra Water again, shall we? Episode to a place where there where there is no darkness. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if I, if we get started right away. Nope. We have lots and lots of work, and. We are still on this case, which has blown out of proportions. So, we are to investigate further. This is going to suck. I like the game, but it's going to suck. Because... surveillance let's get those out of the way those are not exactly important but this one connections between bond and bombing is evident attacks against Gallic Hearn University and bond and freedom plaza are connected experts conclude that occurred yesterday at Skelligan University seems to be connected to the attack against the Freedom Plaza earlier this week. This is the conclusion of the police division who is investigating the causes in both, in both assaults a similar explosive device created with pure malevol malevolence appeared to have been used, police spokesman Steele said. The letters received prior to this all seem to support the suspicion. While their meaning is still puzzling, investig while their meaning is still puzzling investigators. According to rumors, people have been theorizing the number of stanzas might represent the number of bombings, which in turn raises the question whether there might be another bombing yet to occur. But we understand that some people jumped to this conclusion. But there's no good reason to believe this, Steele answered when confronted with this theory during a press conference. Meanwhile, Stalik University has declared the normal operation cannot that normal operation cannot continue under the circumstances. So they will be closing doors for the time being. The university has also put up a special front page to pay their respects to the assault's victims. See above manage image. And I misread Stelligan for Skelligan for some reason. There we go. Okay, Mr. Goldfelds. Have fun. We are right, it seems. Yeah. Thing is, I agree. And yet, I still do this. I told you it was suck. This is a story, and as I said, an experiment. Which heavily involves the player. Heavily. Joseph, she's not here. <sighs> but all 
also question <coughs> is art political well in this case if we say this game is art then yes because this is heavily politically inspired I mentioned in the first episode NSA the whole surveillance thing So, there you go, oh, oh, hello, thought must change direction, I thoroughly believe we were able to capture minds if only we could garner attention on Thorg as a group, and what we stand for, it seems my ambition was once again too much. After one and a half years recruit, recruiting two of my students and arranging the three demonstrations, like the one held at Rian Plaza, I feel obliged to ask myself where we stand. Have we reached our goal? What has been sacrificed along the way? In short, are we true to the initial goal that formed the group? Frankly and sadly, sadly the answer to the letter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those who thought to do us wrong. Thoughts are free, but that this, but that does in no way mean that they can attack and do whatever they wish. Instead of blaming others, I now see my high aims might well be the cause for the event events of the past months. More than anyone else of thought, I feel responsible. As a consequence, I will hold my active engagement in this group. I firmly believe it shall be for the better of everyone involved, especially my students and from Stelligan. <sighs> Please reconsider, the guy heard there was only a goddamn cop. They had it coming for long. It was messy, I know, all the way back to the thing I messed up organizing. But hell, look at the bright side. We made the news. This is uh, what this is uh, what we wanted. What you wanted. I highly doubt that, but again. We don't know. Uh, yes, the same style again. Okay, back to this art political. Mostly yes, there is unpolitical art. It's just just there. Just a, for example, a picture, a picture of a tree. And okay, and even that can be viewed in a political light. Because it stands for the environment, Greenpeace, that kind of thing. But as I said, this game is deeply political. What would we have if we take the political out of art? In my opinion, not a lot. Not. A lot. And yes, three demonstrations. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh. Okay, the politi political thing. It will also reach to me at one point. Because the Wanderer. There will be some political stuff. Okay, first, what kinds of political? There can be, like here, a political message. Or just politics. In-game politics, like for example in Morrowind, let us quote 3. You see what I'm getting at right now, I hope. This things make it interesting 
make art interesting. Even an unpredicted piece, the picture of a tree for example. Where the painter of a photographer just drew it or captured a photo of the tree because it's a beautiful tree. But because the human being by its nature free will as a free will right now but because we are pretty much free from the thoughts of others unless others tell us their thoughts and vice versa because we are free of others thoughts and can form our own opinion and uh, a social species we are deeply political by our very nature so political beings most of what we create as art writing TV pictures oh not TV basically movies and yes series and such writing movies TV pictures and paintings Basically, oh yeah, games, if we put them there as well, and I think we should at, at large, as a concept. Everything we create, or most of it, can be, or is political. of it if not all of it because even when the creator thinks oh that's unpolitical it can still can be seen as political so let's say let's take the political message out of this game Orwell what would we have not a lot just literally the mechanics the story is deeply political. It's based on the surveillance, hyper surveillance. And how this whole machine we all f basically fear because we are all affected by it affects the world around us. actually putting us in the position of reviewing the data and ripping data chunks out of context but now here breaking news first suspect in connection with us saw the rest uh, a couple of minutes ago, the Bonton Police Department reported that an arrest in a connection with the recent bombings in the capital has been made. A young woman has been brought into custody thanks to investigation efforts of a special task force. Orwell, police spokesman Kaufman said. How the woman is related to the bombing attacks is attacks Kaufman did not cover. However, it is rumored that the suspect is well known to authorities. By other incidents. So there we go. Oh. 
Oh, hello, Joseph. Are you? No. Later you will. And yes, a spoiler. Hello, buddy. First, oh, come on. Let's read. Professor Abraham Goldfels. Being a, luminary, being a luminary in his profession, Abraham Goldfels gladly accepted the offered professorship in the field of media ethics at Stalagen, from which he sadly retired in fall 2016. Previously, Professor Goldfels has held a position as a journalist at Der Reporter, one of the most renowned German daily newspapers, and was also a chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. In his works, Professor Goldfels never relents to emphasize the importance of privacy over public interest. He wrote a book. out also dull because the in-game politics create conflict and politics by its very nature create conflict and deal with conflict and conflict is interesting bunch of individuals you have conflicting interests so what I want is necessarily what you want and vice versa so take that away take politics take conflict away there will be nothing just the same shit every time over and over and over. Hello, Dark Souls. My old friend, I've come to talk to you again. 
but you get what I'm saying. Conflict is interesting and politics create conflict. Be it conflict between countries, between persons, a political message, where politics are, there will be conflict. That's how it goes. There will always be politics, always be conflict. Unless we somehow create an absolute collective with everybody, not just society, but mind as well. And that's going to suck, if you ask me. The individual is interesting, the collective is just a bunch. I just I need to get another short story tales out before I deep dive into that. And oh yeah. then I need to figure out where to put that chapter. I have a very general plot line. That's it. <sighs> but yeah. I can't squirt around politics. I can't. Not possible. Raise it up, make my work hollow. Also for me to ramble about that question because all oh, this thing is so deeply political. The greatest works in writing are political. If people say get politics out of X Y Z, it's not going to work. It Mm. Excuse me. <sighs> but there you go. 
Hero for now. Politics. You can't get away from it. Not going to happen. Okay, let's go with Harrison now. Who is a little bit more conservative with the information he posts. things. It's not a political message or in world politics of the work, then it's the political views of the author. And we have again conflicting of. of I, I told you it was suck. Luckily, I already played the game. Misinformation. Misinformation. No, 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 no. <sighs> the 
Let's go here first. Hello, Hancock. <sighs> Politics are exhausting. And we will go back to that because we can. Former members. Yeah. Former. This needs to be said. Jesus. Dudes, chill. <sighs> I need a drink. Oh boy. Sometimes chill. Chill, take a chill pill. What 
the... Anything else here? Nope. Bad. Let's see Juliet, come here. <sighs> oh, Chill. Chill pill. Do you even chill pill? <sighs> so yes, quitting... anymore with him but she was <sighs> it's 
स्टडी करना है एंड ऑफ दिस रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड स्टडी करना इट्स वेरी सेफ कंटेन सेफ कंटेन आई हैव टू से He says, this is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a damn good reason not to call the cops? I can give you three. You hacked my site, i.e. my web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass, glass houses and stones. Yeah, glass houses, it's not even a I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protests didn't always go as planned, but since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about fucking bombing people, only grabbing attention. But you never even found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? I throw, I throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My Nick. 
I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. Roll it back and then don't dare touching it again. Promise. H. P.S. For your own worthless sake, I hope it wasn't you who broke into my bank account. Uh, else you're neck deep in sheep shit. Even more than you already are. I didn't. What? <sighs> so much information. So much fucking information. It's unbelievable. Oh, hello, buddy. National opinion shut the Pargasian border. This time in the national opinion column, there is not Donald Argus, why the border for the Pages. Pagesian. Okay, the Pages needs to be closed. No! I go and spill the beans right away. Shut the border between us and the Barges. Now, will you please? Can't anyone see what's happening there? I mean, are you blind? Take a look at Triflith. For instance, the situation there seems to be escalating yet again. 2000 like much. And just like then, the nation will let itself get dragged into the conflict. Just like then, the Pagesians will see the nation not as a friend who does the best to de-escalate the situation, but as an opponent who invades and seeks cooperation through force. History keeps repeating itself. That's certainly nothing new. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's premise ever since 20, uh, 2009 ever since it has been working like a charm. Until now, that is, as some self-proclaimed benefactors in the opposition claim that borders are meant to be open to possible refugees. If I don't know how we suffered already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with open arms. Or oh, arms wide open. Perfectly well. Though my name isn't Nostradamus, let me foretell something. We will see a rise in acts of terrorism, terrorism in the very close future. Who knows, maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Faraway or Bonton. Don't you pretend not to have been warned when that happens. Okay, Juliet. Oh, no, 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 no. When I learned about Stelic this morning and that two people had been killed, I felt devastated because I felt responsible. I spent five years of my life at this university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stelic campus. It has been the center of my life for a while and whose heteroist perverts this place for that foul reason strikes my heart. I feel truly, truly sorry for anyone concerned. Okay, but. Thirteen. No, 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 no fucking no. Perfect. 
safety on an individual is a ultimate goal. We have stated probably for our election 2009 and we will stay true to our promise. To be able to provide this, we will again greatly increase surveillance measures. These words come from the glorious majesty herself, Miss Catherine Delacroix, Lady Security, this very morning. I cannot even find the words for how mind bogglingly stupid the gob's plan is. Let's turn on our brains for a second and think. What do people value most these, these days? Freedom, of course. The freedom to say stupid things in the internet, the freedom to choose between trillion cell phone brands, the freedom to walk around with the most ugly haircut ever sculpted. If safety is what everyone is longing for so much, go lock yourself into a barn. Because taking risks is part of living your life, you idiots. I'm telling you, the next step that the government will take will be to stop citizens from doing things before the thought has even popped up in their heads. Minority report much. A good movie, by the way. Deals with the same thing. Just a step further. Thus, there will be no more freedom to choose, no freedom whatsoever. This is a dangerous pitfall, seriously. Phases. Oh, how oh, I'd love to see them running. Oh dear. Ah, gold fells, huh? Low. <sighs> all of the above. It's all of the above. Started out as a block and I would kindly like to invite those who are interested to a newly founded debate club called The Thought. Our primary discussion will resolve, revolve around how people can best be made aware of, the, of a topic in the age of information overflow. First, we will brainstorm and discuss various options, and dependent on participation and interest of in attendees, we will perform practical exercises and test sessions for empirical research. Talk meetings are scheduled to take place every Thursday night at 7 p.m. sharp. Meetings will take place at Cafe Chestnut Complex D on Stadium Campus. No registration is needed, just come by. Oh, for. We are memeing now. They even create their own 
stuff right now we're there stuff we need <sighs> yeah this is after so, oh she possibly organized it Pattern, just get on with it. No, knock knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We're not done yet, you and me. But first, well, I must turn to another. dimensional we already have a third dimension in regards with Watergate but right now all the other things are two-dimensional we don't have enough information and yes I'm I admit I'm enjoying this I I need the information I it's also a little exercise for me writing and stuff Jesus fucking Christ. How alone am I? Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. <sighs> stuff. She did stuff. Okay, buddy. Metamorphosis. The fight for freedom will be carried into the streets starting today, and the thought will be the spearhead. The government consists only of ass kick, ass kissing motherfucking turds. Ah, the beauty is freedom of speech, isn't it? Great that in this country I can say whatever I please, and no one can hold it against me. That's not how it works, but yeah, it actually can it can actually be held against you. Mm. The 
generally generally speaking Hancock is right but no harm shall be done caused by words so If something incites violence, you will it will be held against you. You can spin it further if you want, I will not go through with that song, but it if it it shall not bring harm to another in any way, shape or form. Just my opinion, and you might disagree. You shouldn't, because I'm right at that. But yeah, you may, and you might as well judge me to be an asshole, and that is fine too. It isn't, as long as it will not have legal consequences for me. Okay, we basically summed it up what I said already. So, everybody who read it, please. Put your pitchforks away. I'm rambling. I think it is a great measurement of the amount of freedom in our country that as long as I am able to write this and there isn't any government lackey taking that statement and reporting it to some superior, we truly are free. George Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. That current course towards more and more surveillance, our state of the nation's slow metamorphosis, it is inevitable, or inevitable, inevitable, that this will change one day, and it's damn well possible that day isn't too far off at all. There must be a counteract to this process, and the answer can only be that the thought no longer stays in our heads. No, we will carry it onto the streets of the nation, become transformed and by that re-implanted back into the minds. An invincible idea that we shall always be truly free. Dum, da, dum, da, dum. weather nice I don't want I need to finish this because it's way too fucking long Planted? Are you sure? Them all? That must be it then. It's where the third bomb will be. There are dozens of malls in Bonton. Which one is it? Alright, if that's all we have, that's what we have to work with. So let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out of time. Oh, he is right. He's bad at that. I'm actually located in the facility where Miss Watergate is being detained. Ah. Okay. Here we go.
he will flip his shit. This is different. No, uh, 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 uh. no, 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 no. Flipping heck. She did it to save someone. She gets milder circumstances. And the thing with the antidepressants also I'm into the whole process in her favor. I know we are not 
not done yet. <sighs> Breaking news, explosive device found at the Circle Mall. Explosive, de an explosive device has been found and disarmed at the Circle Mall in Bottom. After a sudden evacuation and thorough search, a device which has been identified as a homemade bomb has been found by the police forces at the Circle Mall. The device has been disarmed by specialists on site. Although authorities refuse to comment on the, at this time, it is suspected it is suspected this might have been the bombing announced earlier by the letter found at the previous bomb site. We will continue our report as the situation develops. For the moment, it is strongly advised to keep clear of the area around the Circle Mall. Okay. Let's get you in there. <sighs> and other than that... That's day two. <sighs> A lot of shit got done. So, good night and sleep well. <laughs>